Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Mini Arts Country Road. And this is going to be the second part of my three part series called Battle of the Bulge Operation Griffin, in which eventually we're going to build in the third installment, the third and final installment, the Dragon Earth Set M10, portraying the great battle of the Battle of the Bulge. So I already started uh, and finished part one of this uh, this three entire three part entire series, and you're more than welcome to watch it if you want to. But for today, we're going to build the complete build of from start to finish of this mini art country road. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the deer round base itself, parts for the wall, parts for the cart, and the instruction sheet. I want to talk to you more about vacuum form parts. What you see right here is the wall for the diorama and the process of making this part is called vacuum form. Vacuum form is basically a sheet of plastic and the manufacturer melt the plastic and put it over form to create these two parts. Now what you see right here is a traditional uh, part that most of you would be very familiar with. It's a sprue and all the parts are connected by these little uh, notches right over here. And all you have to do is remove these notches and then you get the part out and then you would glue it together. Now unfortunately taking the part out for the vacuum form is not that easy. You need a special tool. What I have in my hand is a ordinary pin vise and on the end of it is a sewing needle. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this to scribe the entire perimeter of the part that I want out, like so, and then I'm going to snap it off. This wall has a large seam right on top and on the sides, and I'm going to use premixed tile grout to fill in those large seams. Alright, so we built the kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is a completed model kit before painting, and this is a easy model kit to build. The only hard part was really building this wall and filling in the seam, but other than that, it's very easy and straightforward. I did not include the cart that came with the kit and the reason why I'm not including that is because 
the figures would take the space right here where the cart is supposed to be. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I sprayed the entire model with a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use brown acrylic paint to spray the entire model with the ground color. I'm going to give some highlights. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use our airbrush and give a light um, spray of a lighter brown color. It's time for me to um, work on the wall. I already painted the wall and now I'm going to simply give it a wash. I'm going to do some dry brushing. I'm going to give my entire model dust effects. I'm going to spray the entire model with a coat of buff color. I'm going to add some grass. What you see right here is a solution of white glue diluted with water. And right over here is static grass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush on the glue onto areas where I want grass and then I'm going to simply sprinkle on the static grass. I'm going to add some snow effects. What you see right here is baking soda and this is um, again ordinary diluted white glue and I'm going to add the glue onto places where I want some snow and then with a spoon I carefully sprinkle onto the areas right here. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from start to finish. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering. And I really did a good job building this model kit. I like the snow and the grass and the various uh, shades of paint and weathering techniques to make this um, base come to life. This is a very easy model kit to build and I highly recommend this model kit for all skill levels especially for the beginner. For those of you who are beginners and who are shy about building a diorama then this is definitely is for you. It's very easy to build and you can make this model uh, kit painted and weather it any way you like and you'll come out with a very nice um, base for your diorama. Again, highly recommended. That completes part two of, um, of the model series. So what you want to see next is a video slideshow of the completed model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. 
I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. So for part three, we're going to do the final part of the entire model diorama, and that's to build the Dragon Earthset M10. So stay tuned for this. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching.